to implement his system. This guy's got to get used to his coaching style, so it's going to be a work in progress for him. On a normal night, Earl, this would be advantage Titans, wouldn't it? No question, with everybody healthy and... We've seen enough of Blackshear to know he can be a force. He just, his playing time has dwindled to next to nothing over the last five games. A lot of athletic ability, a lot of up and down ability. We're going to see a lot of that from Bobby Word. Bobby. Too strong. Rebound grabbed by Blackshear. That's good hard work. Far side. Corey Allen gets it to go. And a foul. And that's like to do that. Step in and take charges. But, you know, both of these teams are pretty much in kind of similar situations. And defense has been a struggle for both teams. And they're, you know, they're trying to find a way to get it done. And that was a great seen that over and over against the Titans in this game. Kenich turns it over. At the other end, McFowley off the feet from Roshan Prince makes it a foul. Appleby to Kenich, another freshman. Left corner, nothing but net for Tyree Appleby to Fred Osh. McFowley to Jackson. He'll drive, kick it out to Black, thought about the three. He'll get it back to Jackson. It's open, look three, got it. Jackson, Jackson. Vikings going for the last shot of the first half. Appleby, far corner word, and he hits the three. Three seconds to go. Jermaine Jackson Jr. will miss from beyond the half court. That's a big three at the end of the first half for Cleveland State. Bobby Word got the look and from three. Underway in the second half, Vikings with the ball. Bobby Word hit the big three-pointer. Oh, man, what a backdoor cut. Nobody home. Jackson Jr. will drive the lane. That's too easy. Will drive the lane. That's too easy. Wow. Oh, man, man. Giving himself opportunities. Carpenter steps inside the arc, misses the jumper. Corey Allen with another rebound. He had a 13-rebound game his last time out. He's going to drive end to end and tie it up. Has a couple of threes in this game. Working on Kenich. Backing him down in the lane, kicks to the corner. Three, nothing but net for Dre Black. The glass, no rebound by Corey Allen. Cross midcourt, he's going to pull up. Train of three, and the Titans have their first lead. Available, and he's a top four score. Appleby to the corner. Bobby Word drains a three. That was a planned play, and Bobby Word was open, and he didn't miss. Two point lead. Boy, passed it to Prince. Prince wasn't ready. Gave it back to Corey Allen. Five on the shot clock. Allen drives the lane. Hands off. Oh. Prince lays it in. Another. Free throw. Vikings come back the other way. Appleby to the corner. Driving into the lane. Kenneth for the win. Got it. 3.9 seconds left. Ballantyne. Inbounds to Allen. Clock starts. Allen will drive into the lane. Lay it up. And in, and the Titans. And clock starts. Allen will drive into the lane. Lay it up. And in, and the Titans win it at the buzzer. <laughs> and I love Corey Allen really taking his time. And I, you know, I looked at the lights. The lights was not on when he laid that ball up. He timed it up, not knowing exactly, but he wasn't selling for taking any kind of shot. He took that ball all the way to the basket and laid it in. And I tell you what. The